Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you're doing well. I know it's been a while since I've filmed a video, um, but I hope you enjoy this video. It's gonna be a Ramadan, I heart Ramadan tag, as you can tell from the title. And it was, the tag was made, I think, by Bubblegum Hijabi. I've got my laptop here and I'm just gonna read out the questions um, before answering them. So let's get started. When do you start getting excited about Ramadan? Well, personally, um, probably around the time you start getting ready for Ramadan, which is about a month before when people start talking, oh, what time, what day Ramadan is. That's um, number two, what is your favorite Ramadan memory? Mm. Favorite Ramadan memory? Uh, I don't really know, I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe, I think Tarawih, Tarawih, I just love, I think when you go to Tarawih, there's just something about it, it's just, it's amazing. Last year I was in Lebanon, when it was Ramadan, it wasn't the same as here at all, like, the feeling of Ramadan here, the spiritual feeling, I find it's much more present here than it is in Lebanon. I'm not sure about other Arab countries, but in Lebanon, I don't know, I didn't even go to Tarawih once there, I think I maybe I went once, here I try to go as much as I can. Question number three, does your family have any Ramadan tradition? Mm, not really, we usually eat together obviously for iftar and for suhoor we do as well. Um, yeah, there's no really tradition to be honest. Number four, what is your favourite Ramadan food? Ah, uh, it's got to be tasiya. We usually, I don't know if you guys know, it's fatta, Lebanese fatta or tasiya, whatever you call it. Um, Usually, when it's not Ramadan, we eat it as a breakfast, but in Ramadan it's a starter and it's so amazing. It's like um, chickpeas with yogurt and bre fried bread and pine nuts. It's so good. You have to try it. If you've not tried it, you need to try it. When you're fasting in the day, do you think about food? Yeah, sometimes if I see a photo of food or if if I see something, like the most annoying thing is when I'm on Instagram and the people that I follow that are not Muslims or whatever, or food pages that I follow, they put these amazing pictures on and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so hungry. Besides water and dates, what do you break your fast with? As I said, well, in our family, it's usually just dates and water and soup. We don't really have milk. I know some people have a tradition of drinking milk when they break the fast and it's sunnah, I think. But uh, we just have soup and then we have to sit here. Or fatta or whatever you want to call it. What do you eat for suhoor? Um, recently, if I'm not feeling too hungry, I'll just have like a watermelon or like a peach or apple or something. But if I'm hungry, I'll make a sandwich. Yeah. My favourite would be like a quick on the go sandwich would be like Lebanese bread with a cheddar cheese and just roll it up and just eat it. It's so good. Or stick in a bit of hello in it. I don't know if you know what hello is. Oh, it's this Lebanese thing. It's like it comes in a box, like a circle box, and it's like this sweet thing made from sesame seeds or something. I don't know. It's so good. Um, what's your least favorite thing about Ramadan? I guess this Ramadan, the long days. I think that's a killer. I think the days are so long. I remember when I was really young, we would come back from school and we'd iftar like it was, it would, like iftar would be like 3 or 4 p.m. But like when it used to be winter times. Inshallah, we'll go back to that soon in a couple of years. Um, one thing that makes you happiest at Ramadan are the, the spirit, the spirit, ugh, the spirituality. I can't pronounce that word. But um, the feeling of togetherness and the community and Tarawih in itself, it's just, if you haven't been to Tarawih, man, you need to go. It's such a good feeling. It's like everybody comes together and, and prays together and it's just so uplifting spiritually. And I love eating, like, with. <clears throat> what makes me happy is like when I see a lot of people eating together and it's just such a nice feeling. It's so nice. Yeah. One tip that you can give to someone that is fasting. I'm going to give you a tip to help you with the unbearably long day. Basically, what you do, you don't sleep before suhoor. Suhoor, basically, if, um, I've, I'm saying basically a lot in this video. Um, 
Fraser starts at, if you keep in mind, Fraser starts at around 3 p.m. and you'll have your suhoor around 2, 2.30, whatever. You sleep after suhoor, after the Fajr, sorry, after you pray Fajr. You don't sleep before that and then you keep sleeping until the afternoon and you still have time to uh, wake up and pray the whole. And because you've slept all that time, you won't feel the day go past. You will not feel it. Like that is my, that's what I was doing for the past, for the few days. Like the first day of Ramadan, oh my God, I slept until 5 p.m. But I think that's because I was tired beforehand because I had a really crazy weekend. Um, But yeah, and another tip on reading Quran and, and trying to finish the Quran in Ramadan. I'm actually trying to finish the Quran and a half more than once so um, what I do is I read six pages after each um, prayer and that really like makes it so much easier because reading one if you're not a very fast reader reading one just in one go it can take a very long time so that's a tip or if you just want to read the Quran once in Ramadan you read four pages after each uh, Salah and that's like nothing it's so fast if you think about it you're just spending like five ten minutes of your time reading Quran What's, what are the odds? So that's the tag done. I didn't think it was going to be that fast, but it is. I hope you liked it, and I, as I said, I hope it's it's almost a week now since Ramadan, and it's actually gone quite fast. And I can't wait to Eid. I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait to Eid. Let me know what kind of videos you want me to do for Ramadan slash Eid, and I'll see you in my next video. Assalamualaikum.